Hello and welcome to NDSU's Office of Admission online presentation about Fargo-Moorhead. Today we're going to go over a few of the things that we think make Fargo-Moorhead not only a great place to live but also to go to school. And the things we're going to cover include food, sports, art, and career opportunities. My name is Paige Johnson and I'm an admission counselor who works with incoming students from North Dakota and Montana. I graduated from NDSU in May 2019 with a degree in strategic communication and have been living in Fargo for about four and a half years. I'm originally from Ham Lake, Minnesota, which is a northern suburb of Minneapolis, St. Paul. One of my favorite parts about Minneapolis growing up was the local theater scene. So when I moved to Fargo, I very quickly fell in love with the small but passionate arts community in town. I love the annual studio crawl that's hosted every year and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. And I'm Mara Moy, an admission counselor who works with incoming students from southwestern Minnesota. I've lived in Moorhead for the last five and a half years and grew up in Buffalo, Minnesota, a town west of the Twin Cities of about 15,000. Uh, some of my favorite things about Fargo include the food, but also that, to me, Fargo has all of the best parts of a big city and a small town. So, for example, Fargo has great events year-round like the farmer's market, different street fairs, but also people still wave to each other and say hi on walking trails, which to me feels like a small town. So Paige and I wanted to start off with some general info about Fargo. You can find all of your essential needs throughout town. Target, Walmart, and grocery stores are all short drives away. The West Acres Shopping Mall is just a 10 minute drive from campus, or you can catch the map bus throughout town and campus for free as an NDSU student. Downtown Fargo is just a 15 minute walk from campus or a short bike or bus ride. Within downtown, you can get to local shops, restaurants, and cafes easily, including NDSU buildings Ferry, Cly, and Renaissance Hall. Fargo-Moorhead is designed for college students. With nearly 240,000 people living in Fargo-Moorhead and 30,000 students from the five local colleges and universities, there's literally always something to do here. But more importantly, there is always something to eat. No matter what you're craving, there is a restaurant for you around town. The options are endless, offering global foods like pho, noodles, Chinese takeout, and tacos, to American classics like burgers, pizza, and fried chicken. Waffles and bagels are super great in the morning, and sweet treats like ice cream, edible cookie dough, pastries, and cookies to go satisfy well into the night. As college students, we also can't not talk about coffee. Morning pick-me-ups and casual cafes are everywhere, giving students ample opportunities to stay caffeinated, study, and hang out with friends. Paige, where is your favorite place to get coffee in town? Definitely Youngblood Coffee Company. Um, so they're only like a short walk away from my apartment downtown and they have super great coffee, really nice baristas, and they have delicious toast. Okay, I have to share mine too. I think my favorite is the Red Raven Espresso Parlor. It's also downtown. I love their eclectic menu and just the vibe of the coffee shop. I spent like every Sunday in college doing homework there basically all day. But if you're also someone who likes to get outside, stay active, or cheer on local sports teams, Fargo has chances for you to do so. With so many parks and over 200 miles of bike trails, there are plenty of ways to get outside. You can even check out kayaks and canoes for your own Red River adventure. Prefer to cheer on your favorite sports teams from the stands instead? That's cool too. You can always catch a Red Hawks game at Newman Outdoor Field just north of campus in the spring for baseball or a Fargo Force game at Shields Arena in the winter for hockey. And if art is more your thing, Fargo has numerous spaces to explore your creative side. So each October, like I mentioned, local artists open their art studios for the annual studio crawl. There are also two art museums that let you wander art galleries on a daily basis. Local theater companies Theater B and the Fargo-Moorhead Community Theater have year-round productions that make you think, laugh, and, of course, enjoy. Fargo-Moorhead is also a hub for music. The Fargo Dome hosts big-name artists like Pink, Jason Aldean, and Cher, and 
local venues, sanctuary, and aquarium bring in local and regional bands every single week. So as you can see, there are a ton of fun things to do in Fargo, but there are also a ton of connections to be made and opportunities to take advantage of for professional development. Fargo is home to a wide range of businesses, from small startups to internationally known companies like Microsoft and John Deere. You could have a variety of experiences working within different organizations before graduation. Nearly every major industry is represented in Fargo and opens their doors to NDSU students for job shadows, tours, and internships every semester. So no matter your major, you'll graduate with hands-on experience in your field. You can start making connections on campus at one of the many job fairs our Career and Advising Center hosts or in the community at one of the numerous professional development events held year round. There are so many ways to expand your college experience beyond campus. Definitely. We hope you le enjoyed learning more about NDSU's community, Fargo Moorhead. On the screen are our recommendations for continuing your college search. First, gather as much information as you can about the schools you're interested in and reach out to those colleges with your questions. Prepare for and take the ACT or SAT if you haven't already. Work with your high school counselor to plan future coursework to best prepare you for college admission. You can also start exploring majors you're interested in on college websites as well. Utilize net price calculators on college websites to get cost estimates on the colleges you're considering. Explore scholarships, grants, and financial aid opportunities to lessen those costs. Finally, don't forget to apply to the schools you're looking at. Most applications open in late summer. Thanks for watching and we hope to hear from you soon.